गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज अर्नबी मिश्रा एंड आई एम अ स्पेशलिस्ट प्रोग्रामर एट इन्फोसिस एंड इफ एज द थमले सजेस्ट दिस वीडियो विल बी हाउ इज द लाइफ एट इन्फोसिस सो आई हैव स्पेंड अराउंड 1.5 पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स एट इन्फोसिस सो आई गेस आई कैन एक्सप्लेन यू एंड गिव यू अ ब्रीफ लाइक हाउ इज लाइफ एट इन्फोसिस so if, if you are planning to join infosys then i would suggest and this is a must watch video for you you can just ha have a look at this video and then decide of joining infosys so first thing i would uh, like to start with the training so everyone know that infosys is very much special for its training it has uh, a, a dedicated development center at mysore where everyone has to go at mysore for completing their training so and uh, this is uh, unlike other um, many other companies like there they don't give uh, this uh, dedicated training to all the employees but here uh, for everyone they have to go through with some uh, trainings and the trainings are like first general uh, training and then stream based uh, training and then they have to work on some project so all the thing every each and every employee have to go through this training and this is the i would say that this is the transition from one college student to uh, a professional employee so in this training you will learn a lot of things so first there will be generic training uh, training so there you may learn uh, some os networking or um, dbms uh, kind of things and then there will be stream based training there uh, you will be given some specific stream and you can't choose your stream at the very early level they will decide and put you one streams like java angular mean stack mon stack sap big data these are the famous uh, uh, some of the uh, streams that i mentioned so you will be put into one uh, stream and then you will be given one uh, training uh in the training there will be exams and you must pass the exam to qualify the training and if you fail you will give another at attempt to pass the exams and then there will be project you need to work on a very small project uh, it will be a kind of group project and after completing the project your training is over and then you will be allocated uh, you will be transferred to your specific dc uh, whatever you have given pre uh, preference so this is the whole training thing and i would recommend that training in the infosys is very much good because when i joined infosys i didn't have much knowledge about this uh, stream or full stack uh things but i go uh, my stream was java and angular and i learned a lot of th things from this training and even after th uh, training uh, i worked on angular personally because uh, uh, i love to work on angular and the training was the thing where i uh, like it was an exposure sh uh, for me i got to learn a lot of things now has uh, in recent days uh, uh, things have changed uh, somewhat they have introduced one lex course and uh, like from 2020 and 21 the training was virtual because of the covid so my training was also from uh, virtual so we have to attend some uh, meeting and then there was training so i didn't go to mysore but the training structure was almost uh, same and the, uh, the one who is to give us uh, training they used to refer some lex courses uh, in infosys you can there is a uh, legs from there you can uh, do some courses even after training you if you want to learn or do some certification legs is always there so now things have uh, kind of changed but from this year again they are going for the mysore uh, training but uh, other than that uh, i would say that there is every month there are trainings uh, happens like those are dc specific uh, trainings so for example uh, suppose um, uh, you have uh, uh, completed your training and you have joined to your project but you, if you want to change your domain for example if you want to learn uh, mon stack so you you will surely change your do domain so what you will do you will uh, you can check your dc educational calendar and there will be some training uh, scheduled you can go and have those trainings as well 
so that after like um, beside projects you you can have those and you can learn a lot of things from there as well so these are the trainings i was mentioning so this is the first point and i covered a lot of things like even after training you if you want to learn some more thing you can go and check those things from the lakes and uh, you can even uh, uh, go to your uh, dc educational ca calendar and uh, have those trainings and the ne uh, next point is like uh, how is the project so about project uh, once you are uh, you have completed your training you will be in central bench and then based on uh, the requirement uh, the project will be given to you so there will be uh, some uh, person uh, a single point person they uh, you will have you can go and uh, ask him or her about project like uh, i have interest in this kind of thing and i want project so there will be always one single point of contact whom you can go and ask for project even your project is completed or you want to switch you have to go to that person now how the project is done uh, after you have completed training it's not that immediately you will be assigned to one project but it happens like in big data stream there is a lot of requirement so uh, you there is a chance that you will immediately get project but in other streams it not that much that uh, that today you are completing project and next day uh, uh, today you are completing training and next day you are allocated to one project it's not like that so in that time uh, when you are in bench you uh, you have to prepare one like uh, your portfolio type like what was your training and what other things you know and uh, like uh, they will send it to if it's a client based project they will send it to client and based on that your project will be uh, you will be allocated and if it's client based so there may be one client a short client interview and the manager will help you to like uh, he will suggest what to prepare for that client interview and ma you can uh, easily pass that interview it's not that much tough so and suppose uh, you are in uh, uh, bench and you are not getting project uh, uh, maybe you are bench for one to two weeks so in infosys there is one uh, internal job or uh, internal freelancing kind of thing so even if you are not getting project it's not that you will uh, simply uh, sit idle uh, there is one accelerate job so there is internal portal you can go and check uh, based on your uh, uh, knowledge if there is any uh, small task are there so if you are interested to do any task that is called accelerated task or accelerated job you can go and contact that person that i am interested in doing this uh, he he may give you one task uh, a small task to solve to check if you are actually eligible to do it or not and he may ask you how much time you will require and uh, all these things and then um, you will be given that task and you can complete this uh, uh, based on like uh, until you get a project and these things will you can add on your portfolio as well for internal uh project search and even uh, it this things so will also add in your uh, profile so when the it time for the reviewing uh, uh the the year reviewer can see that you have completed this many accelerated task and the one who has given task uh, they may give some review based on that so this things uh, will be checked so it's not that you are simply on the bench and when the reviewing time uh will come and uh, he will say uh, you haven't done anything so it's not like that we have always option to work on something because this is a very good initiative from infosys now next thing i will uh, wa say about um, uh like project and all happen how is the uh, uh, reviewing thing and all so when you are doing some review so uh, there is one profile and it will store all the work you are doing if you are doing any certification on course from lex or if you have do some did some accelerated work or not everything will be stored in one place and your manager or reviewer has always an option to uh choose or set some goals for you so this is a very important thing for your career so suppose uh 
uh, you uh, want to work uh, uh, you, the one who is reviewing you and uh, he said like you have to do some courses based on your project so suppose you have to work on client project and your work is client handling maybe your manager can refer one uh, course that is how to interact uh, with uh, people this kind of course and you can complete that course and your uh, reviewer will be happy so that you you have completed your goal and also there are internal hackathon in uh, infosys and it's mandatory to participate at least one hackathon in a year so this will also enhance your knowledge and uh, other things uh, so that you can uh, like learn a lot of things so inside infosys there are many scope of learning you can join internal hackathon you can complete internal certification this kind of scopes are there you just have to follow the mails and all so uh, and uh, even uh, your manager can set this as a goal then you have to complete at least one hackathon so this thing is uh, based on that and if you are completing your goal then uh, surely you will get a good rating now next thing is how the project uh, change and other things are done in infosys so i will say that in project if you are working as a client and suppose you have a lot of dependencies on you and suppose you want to switch to another project and uh, for that obviously you need to learn a, another technologies so getting release is not uh, like it's not that you will uh, ask your manager today and you will get the release tomorrow so you need to uh, prepare one uh, person who can handle all the things you are currently doing and then only uh, you will get a release and then you can apply for uh, another uh, you can approach to another manager or you can check uh, in the internal portal if there is kind of this kind of projects or not and then you can switch to another project it's not that much uh, easy but yes it's not uh, that very hard you have to uh, uh, be sure that your tasks are uh, given to another person and you are ready to move to another project then only you will be released from one project now the next thing is how the hike or uh, how the role change things are happen so if you are joining as a system engineer obviously after 2 years you will be a senior system engineer and uh, based on the time you you will keep on getting the promotion that is a uh, system engineer senior system engineer technology analyst this kind of promotion even if you are joining as a operation analyst uh, then also you can uh, do some certification and you can become senior operation analyst and then system engineer and you can follow the path like this way and as as i am a specialist programmer at infosys and this is a newly uh, introduced role which is uh, live from 2019 so in this role this roles are also fresher level role but the uh, compensation is slightly higher than this uh, system engineer so all the system engineer have or um, if you are uh, working as operation analysis or uh, other you have the option to change to this uh, specialist programmer or digital specialist engineer role by giving bridge program so even if you have joined a system engineer and you want to work on development project and want to work in this role uh, in every quarter this bridge program happens and you can sit for this exam and there is no limitation or bar that you can only apply for one time in a year you can uh, go and sit for this exam in every quarter uh, up to 3 years of joining uh, something like that i'm not sure about it but i have heard that up to 3 uh, years after joining you can apply to this bridge program so even uh, in bridge program you can uh, apply for every quarter so this is a very new and good initiative from infosys so there are many system engineer they can change their role and their uh, the salary hike will be also a good thing so they are getting a good hike and they can uh, also getting development project and more coding related work so this is the overall thing in infosys like uh, i would say the training is the best 
thing in Infosys uh, and then other uh, like uh, you can get internal trainings and suppose you want to uh, switch your technology there will be trainings in uh, your DC level in every month you can go and join in any training so even if you are in bench you, it's not just time waste for you you can go and apply for accelerate job all your certification and all everything is noted and you will be getting reviews based on that and uh, you can get good projects and you can change your role to digital especially engineer or specialist uh, programmer if you have joined as a system engineer so this is the overall brief to infosys like all the things uh, it has and now the things are virtual to so that uh, people are only uh, they can't interact uh, much but uh, they, are, they are only getting mails and you need to if you are in infosys and you don't have much uh, knowledge you have to check each and every mail there are many opportunities there are many internal hackathons happening and a lot of things uh, is happening you even uh, they in the in Friday in the um, max, uh, maximum time they do some interactive courses like um, uh, uh, they call someone and uh, some doctors for uh, mental health and uh, there will be one uh, one hour session and you will ha you will get to learn about some doctor about your mental health. It's not that you have to go and book any session in external to learn this thing. You can just uh, attend that uh, Webex meeting and um, you will be invited to that Webex meeting and you can learn about the mental health, yoga, every time, like every time I used to see a lot of mails about these things, like uh, other than work, uh, you have this much options as well, sometimes uh, about yoga or mental health, a lot of people, even uh, for financial planning there will be a lot of meetings um, you can attend those meetings for your uh, knowledge gaining so this kind of things so overall uh, as I have spent 1.5 years uh, at Infosys this is a good journey for me I uh, had to I learn a lot of things and as my journey I started as a digital specialist engineer and then I changed my role to specialist programmer I, I would say that it's, uh, it's overall and good uh, journey and I uh, worked uh, on a good project and uh, all so it was a good uh, journey for me and if you are working on Infosys uh, you can tell me how was your journey and how you are enjoying the things and if you uh, find my video informative please let me know in the comment section that how, how much uh, you find it uh, informative and uh, if you want to know more about how i changed my role to digital specialist from digital specialist engineer to specialist programmer i have a separate series uh, playlist for it you can go and check there um, uh, there i have prepared uh, previous year questions and my analysis on question how to prepare all the things is there you can go and watch it and if you want to connect with me you can connect with linkedin or you can join my telegram channel and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.